Hi, you guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. So today I'm so excited to show a product review to you guys. I'm really, really excited about this. This is a smart bird feeder. Do you want to know what birds are going to come to my yard? <laughs> Stay tuned. Okay, you guys. So this just arrived. The company actually got a hold of me and they asked if I'd be willing to show you guys one of their products and they sent this product link to me and I'm like, oh my gosh, yes. I have actually been wanting to try one of these. This was sent to me for review. So thank you so much for sending me your bird feeder to show my viewers. I greatly do appreciate it. You guys, I also want to point out the fact that I do have a winter Christmas background behind me during this video. I did actually record this and was supposed to have it up in December but they actually sold out for the holiday so we waited until they were restocked so if you did want to purchase it for yourself or for a gift it would be available at the time you are viewing it so don't mind the winter background <laughs> here in florida we do actually get a lot of birds in our yard depending on the time of season right now there are a few but like in the summer we have so many beautiful birds from like cardinals to blue jays to woodpeckers to everything in between but they're just super super pretty bright vibrant colors and i love just watching the birds that come into our yard <laughs> The birds come to the yard <laughs> but this is actually going to give us a better view because we're going to have a camera right up on them so we're going to be able to watch them all see them all and i just think that is super super fun so before we dive in and see what this looks like and how it is all going to be set up let's go ahead and learn a little bit more about this bird feeder let me introduce you to the newest product by FVVL. This is the bird feeder with a camera that is solar powered. It has free 30 day cloud storage and a free 64 gigabyte SD card, which is included. You also get instant notifications when your birds are coming, so you will be able to know which birds are coming to your yard. There's auto captioning with viewing birds of 1080p in color vision, two-way audio so you can actually talk through it and repel squirrels. You can tell them to go away, even though mine don't listen. This is the current price. It is $109.99 after the sale. You can also click this button here to get an extra 15% off. Don't forget to use my code to get an extra 10% off as well, which is 10 She Crafty. It has the double solar panel design with fast USB-C charging. It is weatherproof and it has the easy refill top. The solar panel makes it great because you don't have to worry about a thing. It just recharges all on its own. With the camera's wide angle lens, it will provide exceptional night color vision. It automatically captures stunning 1080p HD videos of birds feeding, capturing exquisite details in the best view possible. The high quality camera lens ensures crystal clear images and videos, allowing you to appreciate the beauty of nature up close and personal. And now let's go ahead and unbox this. I'm super, super excited to get it out of the box and get it installed outside so we can start seeing what visitors <laughs> come. So let's go ahead and open up the box. So everything is all nice and protected. Ooh. So you do have your manual right on top. And then you do have, it looks like there's some um, stickers so you can um, get the holes right for mounting. That is really neat. You have a bag of some parts. There's even a screwdriver. Oh my goodness, hold on. <laughs> there's even a screwdriver in here, you guys. Like I've seen sometimes when I've had to put something together, they give me like a cheap little like screwdriver that I never would want to keep. Like they're just like a one-time use and I'm good. But look at how cute. This one for sure I'm keeping. And look at the teal. I'm definitely keeping this in my area. This is going to be my new little screwdriver. <laughs> it even has like little grippers like to help. Like I've never seen somebody give like an actual full size screwdriver. And like to put the stuff together. Like that is, that is so neat. And I love, I love the color. <laughs> There's also screws and anchors. There's a charging cable. There's a strap, so if like you wanted to mount it to like a tree. And then you have this right here. So those are all of the pieces. I, I'm just, I, I, I'm super impressed. I got a new screwdriver. <laughs> okay, so now back to inside of here, we pull this part out. 
And then down in here, it looks like it probably will be like the base for it to sit on. There is this down at the very, very bottom that was kind of hidden. So if you do purchase this, take out this metal thing here. You will need this for the installation. Yes, and now everything is out of the box. So yeah, this would be the base for the birds to land on. And it comes with an antenna. And even if you guys did have this and it was kind of pointed, like kind of scanning your yard, if you didn't actually have security cameras in your backyard, you could always like log into your birds thing and see if you can see the image behind to kind of help out too. Just, you know, just kind of keep that in mind. It might help you as well, having that camera in your yard. So this right here is how you figure those out for your, um, to screw the screws in the right positioning. Okay, so it looks like everything is already kind of attached and set up. Like you don't have to worry about running wires anywhere. That's already done. I think you probably put the antenna maybe here. Oh, you just do that and it locks down into place. And then that's how the back will look. Here is the camera. So we can take the plastic off the front of it. And then the camera itself is already attached with all the wiring and it does tilt. So you can get the positioning that you want based on, you know, how, how you want to see your birds, the view. And then I'm going to assume we just snap this into place here. It has holes through it. So if it rains, the water's going to drip through. It's not going to be sitting like stalemate, getting all nice and wet and nasty and moldy, mildewy. So I really, really like how it's constructed. So then there's probably those three screws that go down inside of here. So let's go ahead and just attach that now using my handy dandy new screwdriver. The camera even has a microphone, so you could even talk to your birds, I guess. But a good thing is, like I said, if you were actually, maybe let's say you wanna just check on your kids and see what they're doing playing in the backyard, you can always tell them to you know, calm down, come inside, it's time to eat. You could always talk through the mic to anybody or to your birds <laughs> or whatever comes visiting. You could talk. <laughs> So down in here, there are three small screws. Those three small screws will go down to hold this base together. So we have one, two, and three. Okay, so I didn't want to strip them out. I'm notorious for stripping screws. So I didn't go too, too tight, but it is on there nice and good. It's not gonna come off or anything like that. Oh, and the company was nice enough to generate my own code to give you an additional coupon. So whatever price this is at the time, if you're wanting to purchase this for yourself or for a gift idea, check first to see if there's a little box you can click to save money because sometimes you could save an extra 10 to $30 off depending on what sale they have at that time. And then you can use my code 10 SheCrafty to save an extra 10% off. So check that box first to see if you can save money there. And then you can use 10 SheCrafty at checkout to save an additional 10% off. That is amazing. I thank them so much for saving you guys some more money. So there you go. Let's go ahead and get this charged and let's get it hung up and put it to the test. Okay, so I also wanted to point out how big the solar panels are and there's two of them. So that is super nice. So I unscrewed this little cap that was hanging on this and I was able to just go ahead and plug in the plug right here. And now there's a light on the camera. So we're gonna go ahead and get it to full battery and then we'll go install it. Now that the light is illuminating green, it is fully charged, so let's go ahead and disconnect the power cord. Right here, I'm gonna go ahead and screw this back on. This will just protect it in the weather so no water or anything will get inside. Up here, you just remove this, you pull it kind of like past a little nipple thing and it just opens right up. This is how you fill it with bird seed. Or if you're storing it, you can have it go this way as well. But the bird food will fill in this entire chamber, come down through here so it'll automatically feed as they eat it. I love that there are those holes. Let's go ahead and get this turned on. Right here is the power button. You just press and hold to get the power button. And then once it turns on, you will hear the little beep and now it's ready to pick up a wi-fi signal you don't have to do anything else the memory card's already installed just put this back and make sure you do connect it correctly so it will power by solar for starting up the app it is super simple it literally walks you through the entire steps adding in your wi-fi connection succeeded 
and she just confirmed that is she is all connected so now it's just going to go through you can actually name it if you want i changed it to just say bird feeder i do have a few cameras on my phone so this one i just saved to say bird feeder and again within a couple seconds it is now nice and connected you clicked a few buttons it tells you how to install it which we'll figure that out outside so you can kind of just pass through this it will ask you if you want to upgrade, which you do not have to. It already gives you free storage. Hi, it's working. <laughs> okay, so I was kind of scanning the yard to figure out where I wanted to place the bird feeder. I want to actually put it over here on this, this beam right here. My man was thinking that we should put it over there, but I don't want the squirrels getting in the habit of climbing up on their coop. So to keep them away from that area, instead of hanging it on the fence, I guess this is gonna be the best spot. So that's where I'm gonna put it. Hopefully it'll get enough sunlight, but we'll find out. I'll be able to monitor it, see if it's charging and all of that good stuff. So for the user manual, it does show you everything that is included. So you have the camera, the feeder, the tray, antenna, and all the hardware. It does give you a breakdown of what everything is and where it is all located. And then on the camera, it tells you where the human body infrared sensor is located, the mic, the indicator light, the lens, and the spotlight. You can speak through this, so that's where the mic comes into play. You can hear and talk. And then it does have a spotlight, so if you needed to use it and turn a light on, you have that option as well. It shows you where everything is located on the back and then where the power button and everything is right there. How to assemble it. And then you set up the app by scanning the QR code and then it walks you through the setup. And this shows you how you can install it. It's recommended to do it six feet high. So we're just going to attach the bracket and then we attach that to the bracket and it's done. And then you can watch the birds come to the yard. <laughs> so we're gonna use the sticker template to attach the bracket. It does come with anchors if you're putting it into like a wall, but I'm gonna put it right into the wood. So I started with just seeing like where about I wanted to put it so then I can kind of get an idea of where I wanted to mount the bracket. And I actually grabbed two of my man's drills. One of them I have so I can screw it in and the other one I am putting like a drill bit so I can pre-drill the holes to get the screw in correctly. So pre-drilling the holes here. And now screwing in the mount. And then all you do is literally sit the bird feeder on top. There's that one little screw that you use to connect it to the mount and it does pivot so you can put it at any angle you prefer. And now to add the bird food. So right now I'm watching the app and it actually looks like it's at a great view. I'm gonna have to wait until I get a bird to come to see if I need to put the actual camera down or not. Um, I did have it originally kind of pointed more my way, but it's going to detect us every time we come outside. So I went ahead and turned it back the other way a little bit more just so it won't detect us as much. I'm gonna actually move that wind chime over just so that doesn't scare birds. I'll move it to like the other side or something. But um, yeah, that's how it looks right now. Now that it's all nice and full of bird seed. <laughs> and let me get you up there. Hopefully then you can see right now like the actual food that is actually in there where they will be eating. Again, I love the fact that there's holes on the bottom so it will drain, so it won't get moldy or anything like that. So the one reason why my man was not a fan of me putting it here is because he thought it wouldn't get enough sunlight. But as you can see right now, the whole top half is getting direct sunlight. So I just checked, it is charging currently. So I think that will work. Like literally this sat on my counter for a whole entire week after I charged it. And every time I moved it or we walked in the kitchen, it did have motion detected, so it was running. And it still looks like it's a full battery. So this battery lasts a very long time. So I'm not even worried or concerned. Now I'm really happy knowing 
it has sunlight. Ah, here is my very first visitor, you guys. This was super, super exciting. And look at how gorgeous, plus the crystal clear image that you get. It is overcast. That's what it is here in Florida this time of year. But look at how beautiful this bird is. So basically, I'm going to go through and just show you different notifications of the birds coming so you can see different images and the different birds that it captured. If you feed them, they will come. Because <laughs> my bird feeders better than yours, damn right. It's better than yours. And I just want to point out this bird is super beautiful. Look at that tail. Like I never would see this image of it if, until like this camera. Like you would never get to be able to see this bird this up close and personal if it wasn't for this camera being right inside of the bird feeder. But it's just so cool again just to see all the different birds come just sit here minding their own business eating and just it became their ritual like every single day they keep coming and coming so this is super super exciting and i just absolutely love this look at this one looks like it has a little mohawk <laughs> it is just so cute You can actually even zoom in with this camera as well. All right, you guys. So now I am back to finalize my review on this amazing bird feeder. This is absolutely... <laughs> 
I love this thing. For one, when I did set it up, it took me about a week and a half, almost two weeks, and I had no visitors. Not one visitor came to my yard, and I was a little disappointed. I'm like, where is all the birds? Because literally, we've been in this house for eight years, I believe, and we get birds year round all the time. And then it's like dawning on me, like, wait a minute, I haven't really seen the wild birds lately. So I look at my man, I'm like, have you not seen the wild birds lately? He goes, well, I haven't been feeding them. Oh, wait, what? What? You haven't been feed? We have feeders, we have bird food. What do you mean you haven't been feeding them? <laughs> Apparently he read an article that the wild birds are being more dependent on humans because they're feeding them in bird feeders so they don't know how to like fend for themselves. And it said apparently to stop feeding them. So he stopped, <laughs> he stopped feeding them. I'm like, but wait a minute, they're dependent on us. They come all the time. They know this is where they can come to get some food. So you're basically starving our birds for an article? Like what just happened? So I made sure that I filled the other I filled the other bird feeder up. This one was already full. And then like literally nothing was coming. And I'm like, um, hmm. So I wrote to the company. I was like, I'm sorry. This video is going to take a little bit longer because I don't have any footage yet of the actual camera being used by a bird <laughs> because my good old man stopped feeding them. <laughs> like who does that? <laughs> I don't know. I guess mine does. So I told them that I might have to move it because then I thought maybe it was too high. I thought that was a perfect spot because we have an eight foot fence back there. So the birds literally sit on the actual, um, was it the power lines and the fence. So they're either eight feet or higher depending on if they're on our fence or the power line. So I thought that'd be perfect because they would see it and it would get the sun by the solar to keep recharging the camera. And then, so I wrote the company, I was like, I'm sorry, I, I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna need to move it. So we were going to take like a post and we're going to concrete it into where the actual bird feeder is, where like the metal thing is that's holding the normal beard, bird feeders. Long story short, I was gonna do something to like rearrange it, to move it, to see if I can get birds coming at a lower level. And then literally like not even 30 to 60 minutes after I wrote that email, I got a notification from my first bird. <laughs> I'm like, yay. And now every single day, here they are. It's like clockwork. Every single morning I get the red bird, I get the blue bird, and then I get like this grayish bird with an orange beak. Those same three are literally visiting every single day. And now it's been well over a week since I've been getting them every single day. And it's just amazing. They they know where to go now. <laughs> and even when, like if it's really, really windy, I didn't think they were gonna come that day. It was storming. and here's the notifications, here's those birds. So it is like clockwork every single day. Now they know where to go. So I'm so, I'm so glad they figured it out. <laughs> but it's just so neat to actually see them up close and personal. Like I see them all the time from a distance and they're beautiful, but I never knew how beautiful they were until I got this camera. Cause literally you have an up close personal view. You're seeing them like literally right there. They're eating, there's things coming out of their mouth. Like I've never, <laughs> I never got to witness birds like that before. So I just think this is absolutely amazing. Plus, like I said, you could always use it if you need to check on things in your yard. You can pay attention to your kids. You can pay attention to your significant other, see what they're up to. You can talk to them. You can turn the light on. And that's what it looks like right now with normal like night vision. And then I will turn the light on now. So it lights up the whole thing. It does actually, you can't, it's kind of hard for you to see now, but it does illuminate out here. And then that's what it looks like. Lit up. Off. On. So I just really love that the camera and you can angle it up and down. I did move it after a while because I wanted to see like actual some of the food while they're grabbing it. But you can angle it, you can move it. it. It was great during all weather, rain, everything, all the wind. Sometimes when it was really, really windy, you can hear it go through the speaker, like the wind, but I mean, that's what's gonna happen. But it didn't like distort any of the footage or anything like that. I like just turning it on when I know they're coming and just watch them live. I can just watch them live forever. I could just watch them come and go. You'll see one, you see another one come, one leaves, and then you get the notifications. The notifications are amazing too because then you can see like what time they come. And then I change mine to start recording every 20 seconds instead of every 10 seconds. So you do have that option to record 10 seconds or 20, and then you can watch live anytime that you want but it does actually record them. It saves them for so many days. 
but I'm using it exactly how it came. I didn't add anything to it and it's working perfectly fine. But I just think this is absolutely amazing. I love that the flexibility of the mount, you can actually turn and pivot the actual bird feeder itself. You can turn and pivot the camera angle itself. You can use the actual stand that I use, the metal frame, or you can even use the, um, the Velcro strap if you were gonna put it like around a tree or something like that. So you have a lot of versatility on how you're going to hang it. Again, ours is way up higher. It does suggest at six feet, but since our fence and everything is so much higher, it's not a six foot fence, it's eight foot. I, that's why I kind of wanted it to be higher anyways, because I'm trying to keep the squirrels away. So far, I have not had one squirrel come. <laughs> And I'm thankful because they climbed the fence. So I figured they would climb the pole and get up there and start eating the food. But they haven't just yet. But as soon as they do, guess what? I'll get that notification <laughs> and I'll be able to see them up close and personal. They're already digging through my garden. They're in my yard enough. I just know it's only a matter of time before they actually get to the bird feeder. And a few weeks into it, today is that day. They found it. So again, I'm super, super impressed. The actual quality of the camera is top notch. I was thinking, oh, for a bird feeder, it's probably just gonna be like, you know, just a standard little camera that you can kind of, no. It is, it is really good quality. It has crystal clear footage when you're watching it definitely live. The design of the birdhouse is amazing. I love the two large solar panels. The battery life on the camera lasted very long time. So even if I didn't have sun for a few days, I know my camera would still be good with the battery. I wouldn't have to like remove it and try to charge it or anything. So I'm really thankful for that. So I'm just, I really, really all around love this bird feeder. Not only am I feeding my birds, because I know I need to now, I guess, feed the birds. <laughs> I didn't read this article. So I'm now feeding my birds. I'm seeing them up close and personal. And it's just, it's just absolutely amazing to have that footage and see them literally with the seeds in their mouth, pieces coming out. It's, it's just so cute. And I think it's only a matter of time before they get a little bit more comfortable and comfortable. Because like at first, like the first few days, they would land, take a piece, boom, land, take a piece, boom. And now it's like, they'll just sit there nonchalantly for like a long time. They'll just keep sitting there, just eating, just sitting there looking around and eating. So they're getting more comfortable the more and more that they're coming. So I'm so excited. And don't forget if you do order, you can not only click the little coupon to save money on Amazon, depending on what coupon they have available at the time, but you can use my code 10 SheCrafty to get an additional 10% off. And I'm so thankful that, that they did that for you guys to save you guys an additional 10% off. Great idea for yourself or for a gift idea. Again, you can even use the camera for other things. So if you don't even tell your kids, you could be spying on them too. You, hey, it could be multi-purposes multi <laughs> for this bird feeder. So that is everything that I have to say and show for this particular video. Comment down below and let me know what you thought about it. Your positive interaction means the world and I greatly do appreciate it as I greatly appreciate every single one of you guys. So until next time, you know that drill. Keep a smile on that gorgeous face of yours and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Crafty Crew, out.